Hello guys and welcome back to the channel Make Sense 365 man and today I have with me the newest release from Givon Chi Gentlemen Reserve Privé This thing smells amazing We're going to talk about it Be our first impression Stay tuned Welcome back guys, so I have with me the newest release, Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Uh, this thing smells amazing guys, and that uh, from me just smelling it just right now, I definitely do recommend you go pick it up just off the smell alone. It's definitely a beautiful, beautiful scent. But before I get fully into the video, man, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. At the time of me shooting this video, we are at 998 subscribers, guys, on the road to reaching that first 1K. So I want to thank you guys. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. If you are returning, definitely thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications, man. Like I said, we working all year, not stopping this time. So... Thank you guys for tuning in on the road to that first 1K, man. So let's go ahead and get into it with the fragrance. Sorry, guys. Givenchy Gentleman 2022 release, man. This thing smells amazing. I'm going to say definitely for colder weather, fall, and maybe... Sorry, guys. Fall, maybe definitely pushing into the winter, but definitely for colder weather with this beautiful scent right here. Now, I ain't gonna lie guys, I'm not really a huge fan of Givenchy Gentleman. That fragrance is just not for me. But at the same time, I took faith in making this purchase because honestly, I thought the bottle looks kinda beautiful, it looks you know upscale a little bit. So I took it as a blind buy. Now, I got mine off of Sephora. I tried to get off off of Macy's. They didn't have it at the time, but I did buy this off Sephora for roughly a little over a hundred dollars. And this is the 3.4 ounce bottle, guys. This is the box. Um, 3.4 ounce bottle is going to run you over a little over a hundred dollars. But just a first impression. I definitely think it is worth the buy. Now, some of the notes up in this fragrance, uh, just checking it out. Top note, bergamot, middle notes, iris, chestnut, and in the base, you got some whiskey, amber, and woodsy notes. Now, when I spray this, I'm not gonna spray it now because it's very, very potent, guys. I don't wanna spray it. Uh, it's gonna interfere with what I'm wearing right now, but when you spray this, guys, you are gonna get a nice, nice blended chestnut note up in this thing it smells really nice really put together really smooth i think this definitely can be of niche quality even though it's a designer but it's really smooth really nice put together um when i did spray it i get a little of the whiskey but it's not real boozy though it's not real boozy in my opinion but i will say out of all the fragrances i have picked up this year this one is one of the best purchases like i said guys you're going to want to wear this in the fall um in the winter uh because of the scent of that chestnut like i said when i did let it dry down i didn't get too much of a whiskey vibe but they say it's in there looking at the note breakdown but it's not boozy the chestnut you will get a chestnut vibe from not chestnut vibe but you will pick up on that nice smooth nutty kind of mixture when it comes down to this fragrance so definitely um for our seasons fall winter maybe a nice cool spring night with this one as well i definitely will go nighttime with this one to me it does have uh, a kind of like sex appeal to it so um i will definitely say nighttime uh with this fragrance right here in my opinion um Givenchy gentleman Privé Reserve Privé. It does remind me a little bit of uh, Stronger With You. This is one of my favorites as well. Uh, beautiful scent right here as well. Some resemblance, doesn't smell the same, but a little re resemblance. And with Azoro, the most wanted. Um, both of these fragrances have like, uh, this one, the Tonka Bean. Uh, this one I believe has Hazelnut. So both of those, notes in there are blended together just right and the same thing when it comes down to the reserve privé 
that chestnut vibe definitely smells nice. I do get a little iris, uh, definitely get the bergamot when you first spray it. So overall guys, uh, this fragrance is definitely in my category. From one to 10, just off a of first impression, I got to give it an eight. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight to start out um, because I wanna wear it for a full day. I might wear it tonight, going out tonight. I wanna wear it for a full night out and see how it performs. But all in all, man, it's just, it's a beautiful fragrance, guys. So if you haven't already gotten your hands on the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé, check it out. I think you're definitely going to like it. For sure, guys. Don't forget, guys, if you're liking this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the content that I'm going to be dropping. So, and review, guys, um, just off of first impression of the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé, uh, definitely for colder weather, maybe a spring night, fall. Um, I think maybe you can push this into the winter. Uh, I'll see if I just give it a full, full, um, days where I know we getting past winter but we're still in kind of like the fall seasons like that 50 to 58 degree weather so you know I do think that that will work uh, it smells great the scent and um, as far as the tire go I do think this has an upscale vibe to it so I would say formal attire and this is the 3.4 ounce bottle I got mine from Sephora. I'm pretty sure Macy, Macy's has it in now. It's going to run you over a little over $100. So that was my first impression, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, peace, salute. I'll catch you guys in the next video.